Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be teaching you about some great machines from across the world. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and to subscribe to see more like it. The Sunfish is a plowing vehicle built explicitly for the purpose of laying cables on beaches for offshore wind turbines. It measures 26 meters long, 10.6 wide, and 8.25 high, whereas its large undercarriage is 16.1 meters in length. This unique structure lets it go 5 meters deep in water and dig a 1.8 meter deep trench with its V-shaped plow. With this machine, a 500 meter long cable can be buried in an hour. The Model 1720 Stump Puller is built to pull stumps in a range of 7 to 23 inches in diameter, under various soil conditions. Its purpose is to remove the stump out enough so that the rotary rake can pick and tumble any stump into windrows that are free from soil and need to be burned or grind in the field optimally. The optimal drive speed of this beast is 3 to 4.5 miles per hour, which delivers at a rate of 3 to 4 acres per hour based on 10 feet. Finfinet is the leader in developing high-pressure units, pumps, pressure washers, and accessories. These are helping mining companies to clean their heavy-duty vehicles, including ultra-big dump trucks. Using the water cannon system, the operators can easily vary the flow from stream to conehead to safely and effectively wash all outer parts of the vehicle. For hard-to-reach points, Finfinet offers a variety of custom-tailored water blasters. A typical heavy-duty vehicle is washed with a pressure of 3,000 psi, which is almost double of a regular car wash system. With an 88 to 154,000 pound payload, this slag pod carrier carries out independent pickup and set down of slag pods. 
Having low maintenance costs and dumping angles of up to 130 degrees, it is a device that is extremely easy to operate. It has 300 horsepower, being up to 15 feet high and 35 feet long. The Terex MT6300 AC is another masterpiece, made by the American manufacturer Terex in 2008. It has 400 tons of payload capacity. The body of the truck is 7.92 meters in height and 14.63 meters in length. The vehicle is equipped with a four-stroke diesel engine, with 20 cylinders powering an AC electric alternator, which in turn supplies power to the electric motor fitted at each side of the rear axle. The rated power output of the engine is 3,750 horsepower. Terex MT can move at a maximum speed of 64 kilometers an hour. Large machine companies such as Liebherr participate in exhibitions to attract consumers, the press, and the public. This clip gives you an inside view of Ajan, where people are eagerly waiting to watch Liebherr's seven high cranes. Firstly, they demonstrate the power of a Liebherr by lifting a small crane with a larger one. After that, they showed how cranes could easily balance even with heavy weights. Finally, they raised a 764-ton crane that held another crane in the air.
Cat wheel dozers are well known for their durability, power, and efficiency. The 854K wheel dozer is the largest in the dozer series and is designed for heavy duty industrial use, such as construction, energy production utilities, and much more. Its CAT C32 engine generates 907 horsepower at 1750 RPM and 3139 pound feet of torque at 1200 RPM. To maintain efficient load management for various material kinds, three distinct blades have been developed for this beast, which include a coal blade, a semi-U blade, and a heavy-duty semi-U blade. Moreover, the machine incorporates a steering system and drive, an impeller clutch torque converter and rim pull control, and an electro-hydro control. All of these contribute to its agility and responsiveness at work. This results in exceptional performance, less fuel consumption, and low maintenance. The Sleipner E550 Transportation System. It is designed to transport large size excavators on mining sites. When these units are attached to the chains of a crawling crane, it functions similarly to rolling skate shoes. Then, to transport the machine, support is provided by placing its bucket arm in the trailer. Moreover, the Sleipner E550 is 100% effective and saves 85% of the time and 50% of transportation costs. You're now watching the DB120, which is a trailer-based transport system. It is designed to carry massive bulldozers and drilling equipment weighing up to 120 tons, as well as excavators weighing up to 90 tons. With a tilting bed and high clearance, the DB120 enables on-site transit rates of up to 30 km per hour, increasing operating flexibility and reducing the need for undercarriage repairs. In short, with the Sleipner DB120, transportation of heavy crawlers is a matter of minutes. Heavy-duty transport trailers often have more than 30 tires. 
However, having more tires causes problems such as the equalization system failing, tire scrape during turning, and variable retardation due to multiple brakes. The SW450's innovative swing wheel technology solves all of these problems, allowing the load platform to be lowered to the ground with little operator intervention. Because of this, even without the use of an extra ramp, a single person can complete the whole loading procedure within just 10 minutes. It saves both time and money. Up next, we have a low loader from Panther Series 2. It is designed to carry large equipment weighing in excess of 100 tons. The unit's back is equipped with a hydraulic system. This assists in reducing the trailer's height to the ground and raising it when loaded. It can be fixed at any height level using a remote operator. This gives a high ground clearance when moving. Large machine companies such as Liebherr participate in exhibitions to attract consumers, the press, and the public. This clip gives you an inside view of Ajan, where people are eagerly waiting to watch Liebherr's seven high cranes. Firstly, they demonstrate the power of a Liebherr by lifting a small crane with a larger one. After that, they showed how cranes could easily balance even with heavy weights. Finally, they raised a 764-ton crane that held another crane in the air. The Tezmec Rock Hog is considered to be the ultimate solution for a wide range of applications. It can operate more cost-effectively than a range of other types of excavators. It does not damage road surfaces like other excavators would. You can reuse the unfractured rock excavated by Tezmec Rock Hog. It offers a reduced number of machines, increases efficiency, safety, and costs for maneuvering and servicing.
The Epiroc Mobile Miner 55V is a tunneling machine designed for tunnel extension. It has a 17-inch disc cutter that can be moved vertically or horizontally as needed. Unlike blasting or other methods, continuous mining by this machine gives you better progress predictability. The Mobile Miner also handles the excavated material. Some of its impressive features include laser navigation, remote monitoring and control, and automatic rock cutting. The steel industry was in dire need of a special trailer that could handle 900 degree hot steel slabs. After much effort, the well-known company Kamog succeeded in making it. However, the slab trailer needed a ride for going to its work. The TTI group stepped in with its two intercombine trailers to help. These trailers have the functionality of both a modular trailer as well as an SPMT. When necessary, these can function in both ways. The load weighed 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4. They finally delivered it to the Heilbronn Harbor after crossing a 269 kilometer long path with many ups and downs. Stacker reclaimer machines are used at mining sites to dig out mineral deposits at a massive level. Here is the 15th part of a reclaimer machine, which is the largest, weighing 208 tons. Bolor Logistics took the responsibility to give a damage-free and safe delivery. The total distance was only 7 kilometers, but because of several hurdles, this took 8 months. There were three railway lines on the way, and for that, Bolor Logistics used one of the finest mobile bridge systems available. It took two years to reach all parts of the machine at the assembly point. Crawling systems are widely used in machines, including war tanks, to give the best stability even on rough terrains like snow or mud. However, the crawling units can't run so fast. They often damage the road while moving. That is why low loaders are used for the transportation of crawlers. This low loader by Sleepnare is pretty special. Because of hydraulic units, you can vary the level of its height. With a deployable ramp, it can set your crawling machine for transport within two minutes. The remarkable thing about self-propelled modular trailers, or SPMTs, is that each of their axles can be controlled separately by a remote. This functionality makes it easy for drivers to monitor the trailer from all angles, and move in different directions. This SPMT has 22 axles, and on each axle there are 8 wheels connected. The carried excavator is heading to the mining site. SPMTs tend to run much slower than other types of trailers, so these are only used for the transportation of superloads.
Sometimes the size of a load causes more complications than the weight, but when you have to carry up to 200 tons of load across a narrow public area, transportation becomes even more dangerous. In 2013, such a situation occurred when Felbermayr came to Romania with eight steel giants. Each weighed 245 tons. There were hurdles like plants and trees on both sides of the road. A slight twitch could cause a severe accident, but the attentive and experienced team of Felbermayr successfully delivered to the port of Constanta without even a scratch. The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, National Group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. The Tarek CC8800-1 twin comes with a lifting capacity of 3,200 tons. The machine stands 234 meters tall with a 156 meter long boom. It is equipped with four hoist winches, a boom derrick with two winches, a boom hoist, a luffing jib with two winches, and a slewing mechanism. All rope drums have hydraulically released multi-disc and non-wearing hydraulic braking for load lowering. Rope ends of all drums are provided with quick connect rope end fittings. The booms and jibs can be combined to create three different working configurations. The Komatsu Gen 3 L2350 is a wheel loader with an operating capacity of 72,574 kg and can center load haulage trucks with payload ratings ranging from 320 to 400 plus tons. It is the most powerful and productive wheel loader in its class, which is designed to meet global mining requirements. With the integrated SR hybrid drive system, the lowest possible fuel consumption levels are now possible. This beautifully crafted beast is well suited for blending applications and ideally works for operations with frequent equipment relocations or moves during blasting cycles. It's a masterpiece, no doubt. The Liebherr R9800 blends versatility and productivity to satisfy the operator's needs, since this Liebherr mining excavator comes with a 2,984 kilowatt diesel engine. At the same time, an electric drive variant is also available. The T264 or T284 mining truck pairing with the R9800 offers a cost-effective, highly efficient mining option for large-scale mining operations. This backhoe machine can accommodate any load up to 800 tons without any effort. On the other side, the face shovel can withstand any payload of up to 810 tons.
The CAT 7495 is a high-performance electric mining shovel made in two models. The 7495HR is a hard rock version, and the 7495HF is a high-float version used where low ground pressure is needed, such as oil sand excavation. Both models' shovels are capable of extracting 100 tons of material at a time and can load large mining trailers in two to three passes. The dipper capacity ranges from 27 to 61 cubic meters. This monstrous hydraulic shovel is a masterpiece made by CAT. It takes power from a 3,023 horsepower diesel engine, which delivers reliable power and torque, making the 6090 FS both agile and productive. Combining their low fuel consumption with a sophisticated hydraulic system, the excellent fuel efficiency of the CAT 6060 directly leads to lowering the cost per ton or cubic meter driven. Faster lifting speeds are reached because the structure requires smaller diameter boom cylinders to be used. In short, it's an engineering marvel. These large dozers take power from an 1150 horsepower or 860 kilowatt engine and weigh at around 157 tons in its super dozer version. The machine itself is stunning as it is 16 feet tall, 41 feet long and built with a 24 foot wide dozer blade. It is massive and capable of handling 125 cubic yards of material in one pass. Clearly it'll move any amount of material needed. The Mezzo Loco Track LT220D Mobile Crusher incorporates a cone crusher with a screen on the same chassis. It is usually used as a secondary or tertiary crushing plant in a multi stage crushing process to produce up to three calibrated end products. The lightweight design makes it simple to transport between sites. Both the crusher and the projector operate on a single CAT C13 diesel engine. Full power is made available to the crusher using hydraulic power transmission, resulting in decreased fuel consumption and operational costs.
Today's industries are looking to streamline transport assignments and make them more sustainable. Therefore, considering self-driving vehicles is not a bad idea. That is why Scania is working on a cabless autonomous concept truck, requiring no driver at all. However, this isn't an electric truck. It actually has an internal combustion engine, but Scania is working on its renewable biofuel-powered variants. A great many of you have probably seen this monster before, the Model 18,000 of Mammut. This is one of the world's largest construction cranes. Here, two SPTs have come to take it. SPT stands for self-propelled trailers. These are used for super load transportation. You can see how they are connecting these two trailers. Each trailer can be synchronized with another so that the operator could drive both at once. This remarkable feature allows transporters to use them with the best suitable configurations. The Model 18,000 couldn't only carry a load of 700 tons, but also weighs hundreds of tons itself. It has a 600 horsepower engine and the boom is 320 feet high. Now they're ready to go. This responsibility is also assigned to SPTs because they always keep the load in balance. The Bagger 288 is a versatile excavator that digs tons of mines in no time at all. A German company, Krupp, built this beast. They designed it for the energy and mining firm Rheinbronn. When its construction was completed in 1978, the Bagger 288 set a new world record, the world's heaviest land vehicle. Can you imagine? It weighs a total of 13,500 tons. It took over five years to design and manufacture, and another five years to assemble, with the combined cost reaching $100 million. The Big Bud 747 is the largest custom-made farm tractor ever built anywhere. This beast is capable of farming three acres per minute. It is about twice the size of many of the largest production tractors in the world. The Big Bud is 27 feet long, 25 feet wide, and 14 feet high, and it holds 1,000 gallons of fuel. Moreover, it weighs more than 135,000 pounds when fully ballasted. The parent company of this truck has also built its standard and even small version. Adapted from a 1950s style, this giant pickup truck was the biggest ever made. It has four air-conditioned suites, a lounge room and a kitchen, with a motorized tailgate and drops down to become a terrace. Billionaire Sheikh Hamad in the UAE commissioned this monstrosity. The specially enlarged pickup truck is eight times bigger than its equivalent and weighs more than 50 tons. It comes complete with a full kitchen, air-conditioned suites, a toilet, and a lounge with all new facilities and a patio area in the rear. This next machine is something a lot of you have been asking for a while. The Big Muskie is an enormously big dragline excavator owned by the Central Ohio Coal Company. It weighs 12,200 tons and is almost 22 floors tall. With a 220 cubic yard bucket, it was once the most enormous single bucket digging machine ever created. Not just that, but this beast also holds a record of the world's largest mobile earth moving machine. This bucket alone could hold two Greyhound buses side by side. 
It took over 200,000 working hours to construct over a period of about two years and cost $25 million in 1969, the equivalent of $174 million today, adjusted for inflation. The F-60 is a series designation of five overburdened conveyor bridges used in brown coal open cast mining. They were built in Lochhammer and are the world's most massive movable technical industrial machines. As overburdened conveyor bridges, they transport the overburden which lies over the coal seam. The cutting height is 60 meters, hence the name F-60. In operating conditions, it weighs 13,600 metric tons, making the F-60 also one of the heaviest land vehicles ever made beaten only by the Banger 293, which is a giant bucket wheel excavator. At the beginning of World War II, the Nazi leader Adolf Hitler called for the development of a modern weapon, capable of shattering the French Maginot Line. The new gun was a 12-meter high, 47-meter long weapon, weighing 1,350 tons, which fired 10-ton shells down a 30-meter long shaft. 22 people might sit on the barrel of this rifle. This great gun was known as the Great Gustav. There are many rumors about it, but many sources state that the great weapon was captured and disassembled by the Russians. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.